My name is Tate Roloffs. I'm a mural painter, Los Angeles based, live in Venice. And we're here on Melrose. Gonna throw down a, a awesome Vans ad. Long border dude getting the reverse hang tan. Pretty awesome. It's the newest trick. I grew up in Corvallis in Oregon. I just had a great group of friends, you know, like a lot of people that, that skated and were really creative, artistic, got to run around and play all over town. I guess probably my biggest influence was my dad. He, uh, he used to play guitar at night when, you know, my brother and I would be going to sleep and he'd start singing. And, yeah, and then he was also a, an artist too. Mom's forte was she always had a sewing machine around. She'd make stuff, so kind of saw that. And I was like, well, shit, you know, pants are just like two tubes. I'll make my own. I'm pretty much doing the same stuff I've always been doing, you know, just skating, playing music, making art, painting. Just loving life, yeah. It's a blessing to be able to paint pictures, you know. Get paid to paint pictures all over the country. It's a beautiful job. And, I'm stoked. In order to make this look exactly like they want, we have to go in here and pull out specific colors and mix those colors by hand. For this job, it looks like they mixed up about, well, I'd say about, like about 25. It's the darks, the, you know, a lot, of, a lot of blues in this one. Some jobs are easy, it'll be a monochromatic thing and you'll get, you know, maybe four or five different different colors. I like to work too where you, you create like a, a value range of, so you, you start with the lights on one end and then pull into the dark green and kind of, it helps rather than having them all jumbled up. We got our, we got our flesh tones coming in here with our like kind of oranges and browns, that type of look. But then over the top of that, like if you get into there, there's, there's a real grainy quality to a lot of the Vans pieces. And, and so over the top of that orange, you can come back in and start putting, you know, your browns, your, pull the yellows through. And it's kind of a, a push and pull thing. When you, when you project this, a lot of times the, these certain details will just get lost, you know, because you're projecting it to, you know, that into four feet. So the lines just kind of let you know, okay, here's, here's where the shadow starts, here's where the highlight is. It's basically giving you shape and form. Yeah, basically right now what we're doing is, um, it's called patterning. Oh man, I can't believe that noise is gonna be on this whole time where we have this, this pattern, a four foot roll of paper that, that has been projected, the image has been projected up onto the paper. And it's, a, it's an electronic process so that the, as you trace each, each outline of the letters, it perforates the paper. Here we are with the electro pounce. So I'm just gonna turn it on real quick. Pretend like I'm drawing. So, Got the projection coming. It's dark in here. You can see all the lines involved in our, our piece. But you get that. You see the, it's arcing through the paper, like onto the, onto the wire mesh. So what ends up happening is it just burns these little holes in there. And you can totally see through there. So that's projecting 101. And so now we're, we're just starting on the right side and rolling across and rubbing a, a bag of charcoal so that the charcoal goes through the perforations and creates this, um, this outline, this chalk outline. And it's actually, it's, a, it's an old method, you know, Michelangelo used on, on the Sistine Chapel and a lot of the masters doing frescoes would use. It's a really handy, handy way to do this. It keeps, you know, it keeps everything in scale. Makes everything happy. Ready to roll? Right, here, just, just hold on to that. I don't know, this pattern probably took maybe an hour, two hours to, to project and, and make these, make the rolls. Not too long, really. Quicker than the computer. <laughs> 